Henry's law constant for CO2 dissolving in water at 25 degrees is 29.4 liter atmosphere per mole. What is the molar concentration of CO2 in the solution? Here the pressure above the solution of CO2 is 2 atmosphere. This you might recognize as a Henry's law problem primarily because it says the Henry's law constant. So let's do this. Remember that I said there are a couple ways to express Henry's law. One was to make pressure proportional to concentration with some Henry's law constant and the other is to make concentration proportional to pressure with some other Henry's law constant and we could tell the difference based upon the units of the Henry's law constant. Well, we look at here, this is 29.4 liter atmosphere per mole. And let's just write that as 29.4 atmosphere per mole per liter. All right, so this looks like uh, you have to uh, multiply by concentration to get pressure, multiply by concentration to get pressure. So we're going to use this. So we're asked to calculate uh, what the solution concentration will be if the pressure above the solution is something. So the pressure above the solution in the problem is 2 atmosphere. The Henry's law concentration is, or Henry's law constant is 29.4 atmosphere per molar. And so this comes out to be a 0 0.068 molar. So that's the concentration of CO2 in the solution when the pressure of CO2 above the solution is to atmosphere. Now what assumptions are used in making this calculation? Well we're assuming we're at Henry's law and recall that if we look at the say the partial pressure as a function of mole fraction of some component here we're going from 0 to 1 and in general for gases we have non-ideal behavior so let's say uh, we have something like this so what we're assuming is that we're low enough concentration down here. This would be Henry's law. Remember Henry's law, you draw a curve tangent to the data at low concentration and say that the pressure is proportional to mole fraction or in this case concentration unit of mol molaire uh, proportional down there. So that's the big assumption that we're low enough concentration so that pressure and concentration are proportional with the given Henry's Law constant. What reactions in water could uh, occur to make this calculation ambiguous? So carbon dioxide as a gas can dissolve in water. These are all equilibrium steps to make carbon dioxide aqueous. But then there's a chemical reaction that occurs carbon dioxide with water to make carbonic acid which then dissociates into a neutral pH, H plus, and a carbonate ion, HCO3 minus. In fact, it's because of this reaction that the pH of water exposed to the atmosphere is about equal to 5.5, so it's acidic. It's acidic because carbon dioxide dissolves and produces protons. What when it asks for what is the molar concentration of CO2 in the solution? Are you talking about just this? So the CO2 gas in the solution or are you talking about all forms of CO2 including the CO2 that went into the solution as carbonic acid and now sitting around as carbonic acid and bicarbonate? So it's a little ambiguous what you mean by that and you have to look carefully at what Henry's Law constant they're talking about.